now I'm just gonna take, now I'm just gonna take, and then, now, so, all these words are just so overused in videos and I can't stand them and yet I'm using them every single time and every time I do I just kinda wanna die a little bit inside. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be doing Todoroki from BNHA. Uh, I have a few disclaimers before I get started. As we are all in lockdown right now, I can't film in an empty, empty blah, blah, blah. I can't film in an empty house. You might hear some audio from my father downstairs who's doing video conferencing. You might hear some noise from outside from the gardener who's turned up, who's a lovely guy and like so good that he keeps coming even with all this going on. So audio might be a little bit hit and miss, but today I just wanna film. I just wanna be in cosplay. I just wanna make two talks. So without further ado, let's get the makeup on my face. Why is my face just so hot and red? I am boiling. Okay, right, so Todoroki. Why am I doing this without a reference photo? I don't exactly know why. Is this eyes? Let me find a reference picture. It's been so long since I've done him. Ooh, girl, I love you. Thin eyebrows, but because he's a dude and um, I am a non-binary ass who does like to keep the more feminine inside of my face, because I like doing makeup, I need to make my brows a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna use some brow pomade. The reason why I don't use powder to fill in my brows is um, it's, it appears I've lost the ends of my eyebrows. I wonder where they went. Let's get a mirror out. <laughs> if you've got an arch in your brow that goes up and down, you might wanna try and flatten out your brow. So I'm gonna try and get a very straight brow going on. This is just to make it look a bit more masculine, to make your brow bone feel a bit more defined and far forward. And the joy of doing your eyebrows before anything else is if you mess it up, you can just take a little bit of micellar water and a towel and just blot away the bits that just don't make sense. And now I'm just gonna go for a little spoolie and start actually diffusing the pomade through the actual brow hairs. Okay, right, I've got the kind of base shape out. They're not equal, they never are, let's be real. I've got concealer, which is actually the closest to my skin tone rather than a highlighting one. I'm gonna put a bit on the back of my hand and then cut out my brows. The reason why I don't like highlighting with a brighter color is then you kind of, it looks like you've just stamped it onto your face. And I'm like, why? I do do it, so I'm a hypocrite. But I'm trying to be better about not doing it. Obviously, if you have brows, this is not necessary. Just use a bit of powder and fill them in, like to make them a little bit darker, a little bit more anime. But because I'm missing half my brows, I have to go through this entire faff before I even get down to the makeup. Next, I'm gonna start with the eye makeup again, because I'm a fallout bean, and uh, I like to wipe it away. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion on my eyes, using a brush to blend it out. While we're on the subject of eyes, I don't know if any of you have been here for a while, but I used to have the worst case of Blitharius, which is basically dry eye syndrome, which is the opposite of what it sounds. My eyes constantly would not stop watering. I was in a lot of pain because my eyes were burning constantly and I struggled to do makeup. Um, that uh, has actually gone. I've managed to cure it i think it's been gone for a few months now i still have incredibly sensitive eyes so like even like a breeze can set my eyes off but it's not constant anymore it used to be totally constant it does mean that like for these sorts of characters i will not be wearing contacts like i very rarely wear contacts and only when i'm feeling like my eyes can cope with it but yeah no no contacts because my eyes hurt but if I've been treating the Bifarious for like two years to get rid of it. Is, is anyone like interested in a video on how I got rid of it? Like, I don't know if it's like that common a problem. 
My skin is so dry. I need to moisturize like just in here. Cause right now it's just a it's dry and patchy. I'm actually gonna try something new, which could be disastrous. So really early on in when I was buying makeup, I bought from KVD Beauty, um, formerly known as Kat Von D, like previously known as Kat Von D. But after, very actually quickly after I started buying from her brand, she came out with like the most stupid shit and I could not morally support her brand anymore. But since the, she's now left her brand and she's not getting any of the financials from any new sales of KVD Vegan Beauty, which is now called, I feel like I can actually use uh, the products which I bought many years ago. Cause I also do want to use them up. Like this is a waste. If I were to throw this away, I'd feel like I've wasted plastic and cardboard and makeup and yeah. So I'm going to use the, the KVD shade and light eye contour palette also um makeup tip guys because kvd beauty has a really bad stigma around it a lot of it's on sale and because now that she doesn't get any of the proceeds it's still on sale because people don't want to buy it but there is some good products in there and you're not you know giving her money anymore so you might as well get them while they're on sale my own personal opinion you might have yours it's up to you I'm listening to Hoiza right now, it's so good. Okay, I, I haven't used this palette in a very long time. Also, there are no shade names. Oh great, the shade names are on the back. Brilliant, fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna go into the shade Samael first. I'm gonna take a very small little brush. Oh wow. I mean, okay. I'll, I'll go for it. I'm gonna place this in the e out gonna put you out of the this eye look I'm doing FYI will probably look the best on hooded eyes or Asian type eye shapes I'm just creating a very focused outer eye shadow effect and now I'm gonna go into the shade Latinus this one's not as kick up which is good Taking a very fine pencil brush and I'm then going to take that shade on my lower lash line and make a line going up this direction. But you want to start the shade right where the colour of the eye is. Make a deal with God, get him to swap our places, be running up the road, be running up that hill, running up that building. Now we're going to go one shade deeper, which is this shade Siltry. Honestly, having those shade names at the bottom is like just a hell. Baby, you're screaming. Good girl. Woo. You're going to watch me do makeup. My cat. I find making a more defined lower lash line actually really good for creating that image of like a bigger outer V. And let's go further, let's go into the shade. Bloody hell, Libratus. And now back into my little fluffy brush. I'm gonna go actually into the shade, the brown one, the shade Latius, Latius. And bring the brown a little bit higher up into the crease line from where the point ends. And a bit more definition on the outer corner again. You coming to say hello, are you? You're gonna get in the way of the camera, my love. Would you like to see my cat? Hey baby, hey sausage. Do you want the dreamy? Do you want the dreamy? There's my makeup brushes. <laughs> hello baby girl. <laughs> now for a little trick I love to do to make my eye look a bit more winged 
uh, but quite subtly, is I take one of the darkest shades, maybe this shade Libriot Libriotis? Lib Libriotis. And I'm gonna place it above my inner corner at this line here. Maybe I'll zoom you guys in. That's the wrong way. Hi, too close, I know. Babe. <laughs> okay, you want, <laughs> okay. Baby. Oh, if I stroke, you'll go away. So you don't want the attention after all. Uh, as you can see, I don't want it going too high up, but I really do want a bit more definition just there. I feel like it really kind of pulls the eye. But obviously if you do this and your eye starts watering, don't do it, it's not worth it. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this bone shade, which is Ludwin. Lud, Ludwin. And I'm gonna highlight the very tip of the eye. There we go. And I will add a little bit more when I get my foundation on. But this is the basic eye. I will rinse and repeat and get back to you. We've done the really thick brows. We've done the eyes. What a good baby. What a good baby. My face is still boiling. Why is my face so warm? I'm like red, I never get red. Jesus, okay, right, I need to pause what I'm watching because I can't talk and listen to tea talking at the same time. Hello. What am I doing? Oh yeah, mascara. I like to use the Kush mascara from Mel. I wish I had a brown mascara, I need to invest. Now, for male cosplays, like mascara or do it, blah, blah, blah. mascara won't always look the best, you know, on the eyes. But what looks look, for fuck's sake, does look good if you just mascara your outer V. And if you get mascara on your skin, even better. It's just very subtle and I like it. And I am boiling. Oh my god, am I dying? Okay, right. Um, uh, I've already got skincare on my face. I think I might use the Hourglass Stick Foundation. Now, I use kind of higher end products, sometimes in cosplay and sometimes I use drugstore. Whatever you got is fine. I just have a bit of a makeup obsession. I am so red right now, that looks pale. Oh my God. But as you can see, it's the right shade for my chest and my neck but my face is very freckled because I am Irish. Fashion. Ooh, nice clean brush. And I'm just gonna blend this in and add any more that I need to add later. I'm very pale. Also, ring lights make me look paler. Although I do look a bit ghostly right now. I'll bronze it up, it'll be fine. Miss me. My cat's still sleeping on the floor, it's very cute. Right, little good tip for cosplay uh, makeup where you're going to a con. If you want your foundation to stay quite long during the day, and if you've got oily skin, set your foundation once you've applied your foundation, do the rest of your makeup, set it again. This, this ain't a new tip. This ain't anything like special and unknown of. This has been used in the makeup industry for ages, but it's a good tip nonetheless, and maybe one of you didn't know it, so Allah. I'm using the Fix and the Fix Plus by MAC, and this is the matte one, because I am an oily bitch. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, I like walked outside my room the first time in ages. And the reason why it's so warm in here is my underfloor heating is on. But I'm gonna lightly set the majority of my face with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. This isn't really necessary for people who are using a foundation which dries down or like even just don't have that oily skin texture but I really do have quite oily skin and foundations which are creams 
move around on my face quite a deal so it's just good to put a little bit of powder over everything and now we can actually start bronzing up the face and so i can stop looking like a ghost but i'm first going to go into a little bit of contour i'm using the shade lazarus in the shade and light palette which is cool toned brown and the reason why i'm using this first before bronzer is i need to create the kind of illusion of a shadow and not the brownness of, of a bronzer. You can of course use bronzer, but I find that cool tone stuff creates more of a natural shadow on cameras. Although the one thing I will say about these sorts of colors from KVD is that they are so cool toned, they can pull a little bit pinkish on the skin, especially if you've got very very pale skin like me boys don't have um as narrower uh, hairlines as women do so the best way to create a bigger forehead is just to shade the outer portion of your forehead not the top bit there make it look taller although Todoroki his hair actually is like so you know it doesn't really matter that much okay i've done some basic contour on my face I'm now going to go in with a smaller brush and do my tendons. Now I'm going to go for a deeper bronzer finally instead of a contour shade. Again, I'm using high-end products, don't feel like you have to. I love the Fenty bronzer which is the shade in the sun. Again, for very cool toned people, this sort of shade is fantastic because it is so cool toned and light. This is like the brightest, lightest one you can get, I think. And I'm just gonna start raising the actual darkness of the cheekbones. And I want it to be quite high up so that this slip of light goes up like that. And it makes me look like I've got even more cheekbones than I've actually got. Now I'm going to go back in with my little brush and contour my nose. I'm going to try and make my nose as straight as it can be. Now with male cosplays again you want the brow to be more defined so I'm going to contour the inner portions of my nose and then straight down. Let's do some highlighting love a good highlight. I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Light uh, Iridescent Light. What is the fuck is this called? Dim Light Iridescent Light and Radiant Light the Ambient Lighting Powder Palette. And a really big fluffy brush. Swirl it all around. I want more bronzer. I'm gonna go into the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Darken up more. I'm using my foundation brush and lightening up this line here. And you wanna follow this line of your mouth, so like that way. Big breath, because I ain't breathing for some reason. Oh, big stretch, big stretch for you. Noctis. I'm gonna take my knockoff flash palette, because I ain't paid that much money, and start to mix the red and the brown together to get a deepest shade of red. Now I'm just going to apply a total base colour to it and then I'll add some dark shadows and highlights to create the little mottled effect. So 
taking my little detail brush, I'm gonna go in back into that kind of like bone shade from earlier and start to highlight the high points of the face of the scar. I'm using the ColourPop Orangey Glad palette and adding in some Sunkissed to give a bit more of an orangey effect. And now a little bit of Yapil Me. I'm now going to use some glued spiking glue to glue down the sides of my face. And I need to take my headphones out now because uh, I don't want them getting nasty. This is more of like a Todd Rocky mullet. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging it. Oh, that just dripped on me. I did not. I, oh God, there's glue on my pants. Oh no. Oh, oh dear. Oh, this is just disastrous. Like, look, it's like nasty. Oh, I've had this way too long. Right, where's the tissue? Guess whose camera died again? Once again. Okay, right, I've glued the wig sides down to my face. As you can see, they're turning a lovely foundation colour. That's delightful. What I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to add more bronzer because I don't think I'm bronzed enough yet. I kind of want more definition, especially underneath the jawline. This is going to be one hell of a long video. Okay, hello. Hi, how are you? Oh God, I sound like Jeffree Star. No. I want to do my lips a cut like a nice bitten type of red as long as you wipe most of it away you're kind of good and I'm just going to use a little brush and my bronzer I'm going to make my mouth a little bit bigger it's just subtle and I think it works quite nicely some setting spray and you're done I hope you've enjoyed this video have I, have I even filmed my intro? Oh, such, did such a bad job on the fucking makeup here. Luckily, no one's noticing. I even have fake like scarring palettes and yet I didn't use them because I am very lazy and also I'm kind of running out of alcohol activated like activator so I kind of want to save it for something else. Anywho, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What's with me today? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I have been Apollo Cosplay on your home entertainment device. I really hope that you hit that subscribe button because it does me a world of good. And you get guys get to see what I do next. And oh, hopefully it won't be such a long wait between videos next time. We shall see. Anywho, you stay, well, stop saying anywho. It really is annoying. You guys stay safe and uh, wash your hands.